Adecker's Starfield's not even fully released yet and the mods are flowing in. Now this one is going to be a great one to get the most out of your Steam Deck and get a nice frames per second boost up to 10 FPS in a lot of situations. As you can see here with gunfights in the middle of a base here, it's running spectacularly well and holding over 30 frames per second. So let's have a look at getting this one installed. First of all, you want to switch over to desktop mode and open your favorite browser. Head over to nexusmods.com. You will need at least a free account, so make sure you sign up and log in. I'll also drop the link directly to this mod as well. This is the Steam Deck Essentials mod, and you want the all-in-one with the VRAM 40 frames per second HUD, as this is the best option and will give you all of the tweaks in one go. So you will need to download this, it's about two and a half gig, if you do it on the slow download, it's going to take you around half an hour or so. So do have a look at supporting them with a premium option as well. While that's downloaded, open up your Steam library and get a few things ready while you're waiting for that download. Under Starfield, hit the settings cog and under manage, say browse local files. This should bring up the directory that we need to drop a load of files into here. And then from your downloaded zip file, there will be a whole host of files. You want to pull all of these files into that Starfield game folder initially. This will make things a little bit easier as we run through the whole process. So you will get a warning of overwriting a couple of files. You can back up your any file beforehand if you want to. You can see I've got an any backup folder there to stop the load or any file being lost. The data file is just an added to, so nothing's being overwritten here. So if you do get the warnings, I did have some of the files left over from a previous install. So I did have to overwrite a few extra files here, but otherwise just say OK on the overwrite and apply to all. Once that's complete, go into that Starfield folder and have a look at the installation.txt for the last few settings. But what you want to do is open up a new tab and in that installation file, copy the last path here for the Starfield custom any location. If you're on a PC, then you can look at the other paths, but on Steam Deck, you want the bottom path there. And in that new tab, just click right at the end of the line and clear the path there and then paste in the new one and hit enter or use the keyboard shortcuts on your Steam Deck. And you want to navigate into users, Steam user, documents, my games, Starfield. And in this directory, is where you want to copy the starfield custom.ini file that we extracted into the game folder. Just cut and paste that into the folder here. And that's everything done for this mod. This will give you the better textures as well as the .ini fixes for the low preset, but you will need to make a tweak in game still for the best setting. So just run this from desktop mode to make sure that all is well. As if this doesn't work, you may need to tweak a few things or re-download some files. So it's a lot quicker and easier to check it on desktop mode. Once that's launching okay, you can close this down, switch over to game mode, and you'll see those new settings in effect very slightly. But what you need to do to actually make it work is to go into your settings and change the graphics preset off of low and back down to low. That will get the new any file settings to take place. I've actually put my settings back up, which are my recommended settings here, to put the render resolution scale back up to 70%. Sharpening is fine at 50 or 60%, but also bring the film grain intensity back down to zero and turn depth of field off. Now, even moving around a crowded ship, things stay above 30 frames per second. The image is clear and it stays above 30 frames per second in pretty much all situations, apart from a few areas in New Atlantis where it's very minor dips. Let us know how you get on with this mod and we'll have a full comparison of this versus the standard settings going up very soon. So keep your eye out for that one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.